just uh, what, how, what, what can you say about your defense's performance there in the second half, uh, just limiting them severely in the third and then really clamping down at crunch time? Yeah, I thought in the first half it was a shoot around. Um, like this morning where uh, we were just going through the motions and both teams were just going to go out and um, uh, play buddy ball and score. Um, when you give up 65 points in that half, uh, you know, we the last two games we've, you know, hung our hat on the defensive end. And I thought in the second half we uh, focused on the defensive end and a lot of good things happened. Obviously, you just talk about the defense, but looking at the stat sheet, seven points for Mike Conley, holding him to that low, especially a scorer like him. What can you say of just about the efforts that – point guard system yeah on him. it was uh quite a few guys had their turn you know we just tried to wear him down um he's a very talented point guard in this league uh he can stretch it make threes he puts a lot of pressure in the pick and roll and with Liggins, i thought he did a great job and i thought Bledsoe again he did a really good job in the pick and roll and, and on the defensive end and then on the offensive end i thought he was great too so often we end up talking about John Henson defensively, but tonight he was just kind of in that pinch post area and seemed to make the right decision every time. What does that mean for you guys to get another guy that you wouldn't maybe necessarily expect to be a playmaker to make a play? Yeah, I thought the guys did a great job at carry over from shoot around this morning on the offensive end um, uh, of understanding what we thought was going to be available. And John was a big part of that, being able to go high, low, or uh, take the shot when it presented itself. And I thought he was a great quarterback in that where he thought he was open, he found the shot. And then also finding making plays by using the pass. I thought he did a great job tonight. And then I thought he was great defensively uh, in the pick and roll, and then also rebounding, trying to make it tough on Gasol. He's one of the best centers in this league, and I thought John did a really good job on him. Jason, a couple weeks ago, you talked about the, after the game against the Thunder, you got beat by grown-ups. A lot of grown-ups on that Memphis squad, yeah. too, and there was ties and lead changes and big swings. And that, from one game to the next, that's a pretty big sign of growth. Now. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, our growth started down in uh, Texas, uh, you know, once we got bled. So uh, guys started to focus a little bit more on the defensive end, and that's, you know, kind of our MO. But I think the big thing is uh, just understand we were down, I think, five or seven points there with seven minutes left. And normally that game gets away from us. And tonight, the guys uh, that we, when we came back with the starters, uh, we went on a run, but it started on the defensive end. And uh, again, Giannis, we can count and, and look and watch Giannis, but we need everybody to participate on the offensive end. And I thought he did a great job of finding guys. Coach, can you speak to the starters, four of the five and double digits tonight, and the bench was outscored, but when you get that type of production from starters, then it doesn't mean that the bench has to carry such a load then, right? Yeah, I think, again, our bench has been great, you know, before this game. And uh, I understand Malcolm, I think, got in foul trouble, so that, that kind of took a little steam out of his sale. Uh, but I thought, again, the starters uh, did a great job in understanding where the time and score and what they had to do, and that was to get stops when they came in, in that fourth quarter. So uh, sharing the ball, again, Bledsoe, I was going to call a timeout at one point, but uh, he's a little quicker than I anticipated, and he ended up getting the layup. But, it, you know, I think if we can use his speed, um, you know, understanding everybody thinks we're going to play to Giannis every possession, but I think he's starting to understand how to use Giannis. And, and down the stretch, we got stops, and then, also, we got, you know, we made some shots that we needed to. And understanding, you know, everybody wants the ball down down the stretch there. And I thought they trusted Blesso to make a play. You know, we've talked about the chemistry of, of the new starting unit a, a whole bunch. Just to, for them to come in with a deficit with seven and a half minutes to go and kind of just collectively know exactly what they needed to do. Like, what goes into building that over less than a week? Uh, trust uh, and communication and uh, participation by the guys. And I, I think... Uh, Understanding what Blesso brings to us uh, tempo-wise on the defensive end is something that we haven't had, and so uh, it's nice to see. And then on the offensive end, just being able to share the ball and trust that someone's going to make the right play, and you can see that. There was a flurry there late, Jason. I think it was uh, tied at 96. You were, you're working your way back. Snell hits a three, you tie it at 96. And then uh, kind of an alley-oop lay-in by Giannis, and then uh, that drive by Bledso. And that kind of it didn't seem to take the wind out of Memphis's sails, but that was the first sign that, that they appeared that they thought they were in trouble anyway, that little flurry right there. Yeah, I think, uh, again, it was a heck of a pass to Giannis. He, he did the hardest part, and that's putting the, you know, making the catch and putting it in. And then we talked about Bledsoe's speed, being able to get to the basket. You know, I thought, again, uh, the guys did a great job of understanding time and score and being able to share the ball and being able to execute And uh, on both ends, offensively and defensively. Uh, we did a good job there in that second half. You, you talk about Giannis catching that one. We saw him score. I mean, um, a 
a million different ways tonight. What does it mean for your star to show that trust that he can play off ball and make those type of plays? Yeah, you know, I think uh, he's going to get a lot of attention. He's going to always see two to three bodies. And, uh, you know, I think he's showing his patience and his maturity uh, to be a decoy at, at some times and being able to let his teammates score. And it'll just make the game a lot easier for himself, but for everyone. And uh, he's going to score the ball. He's going to touch the ball. But I think also what's underrated or hasn't been talked about is his playmaking, being able to find the open guys. Uh, he's double teamed. He finds Delhi for a big three. You know, being able to be unselfish and trust. And when he can do that, it, it, again, it'll make it a lot easier for him and for his teammates. Thank <laughs> you.